Hey everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey, and in this video we are going to go over the docker inspect command. So with the docker inspect command, we can have a look at any container and find out more information about it. So we can grab things like image names, IP addresses, environment variables, mount points, process IDs, host names. Any information in regards to the container can be found with the inspect command and you can also filter on specific attributes of a container. So let's have a look here on the command line. So we'll do a docker ps to get a list of our running containers and uh, let's grab, you can do it by the container ID or you can do it by the container name. So the two container names we have here is webl1 and db1. So let's run the inspect command on that. So we'll do docker inspect web01. And you can see that that output a lot of information here. This information is all in JSON format. So instead of looking at it on the terminal, I'm actually going to output this to a file. And I'm going to say web01.json. And now let me pull up my editor. Actually, uh, let me go to my Vagrant folder. All right, perfect. So I'm in my Vagrant folder. I'm going to rerun this. And now it's going to be available in my editor because this slash Vagrant folder is shared between my host machine and uh, the Vagrant machine. So I have it open here and here it is webl1.json so we can see a lot of different information here so you can see that it's given the it has the entire ID here when it was created the arguments that were sent so this looks like it, it was running nginx and it sent these arguments to nginx lots of other things usually it's best just to search for what you're looking for so I'll just search for hostname Make sure to type it correctly. So yeah, config. It's under config, hostname. So web01. Uh, looks like it's got environment variables here. And basically anything that you want to know about the host. Here's some network settings. So we can see there's uh, port forwarding. It's listening on port 80 but the docker server port is port 8000 uh, this is the gateway and this is the IP address of uh, the container so basically any information that you want to get would come out in this output here now looking through a file or looking through the terminal output can be pretty time consuming and difficult to do so usually it's best to use uh, the built-in filter commands. So let me clear the screen here and let's run some uh, docker inspect commands. So we're gonna do docker inspect but this time we're gonna add a dash f and this is gonna add a filter and in the quotations we're gonna put in these curly braces and then we're gonna go dot config dot image and then I'm gonna put in the container name so we can see that that brought up nginx and we could do something like this right and this brings up everything for the dot config but if we found that we wanted environment variable for example we go dot env and there is all the environment variables so let me pull up the docker file again and hopefully this is starting to make sense so if you have the file open and you have something I'm using Visual Studio code so and it understands JSON format so I'm able to like expand and contract the data here and it makes it a lot easier to work with so within these curly braces we have a lot of top level things right so if we wanted to get this state and then status we could run the command here 
rerun this, and if I just put the state, it's going to give me all the values in there. Right? So you can see, okay, it's got running, true, false, 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 blah, 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 blah. Now if I wanted state dot status, I would go state dot status. And you see it's running. Now if I wanted the host name, I would scroll down here and I see config is at the top level, then dot host name. So config dot host name like we did earlier. Perfect, web01. All right, so I cleared my screen. A few more that are good are, let's do, let's get the mount points, but we don't have any mount points. Oh, well, it's actually mounts. We don't have any mount points for web01, but we have one, we have mount points on our DB. So we'll inspect the mounts on the DB. And we can see that this host path is bound to this uh, container path. So that's good. And if we wanted the process ID, the PID, we can see that this is the PID of this con of uh, the container of DB01. And if I do a PS AUX and I grep for that, I should get two lines of output here. All right, so this is the pr process of grep running. And then here's the actual container process. So if I really wanted to, I could kill the container just by killing that process. But that's just an example of uh, why you, you might want to pull the state and the process ID, because maybe you needed to uh, look at find the process ID for the container for whatever reason. Um, now let's have a look at a more advanced filter. So the last thing I'm going to show is how to do an advanced filter. So sometimes when you're searching for a configuration element, it could have multiple values. And one of those configuration items would be the networks. So a container could have multiple networks assigned to it. If I pull up the JSON file, you can see that networks here has actually a list, a dictionary list assigned to it. So we only have one network assigned on this container, but it could have multiple of these. So to pull up all the IP addresses, we would actually have to do a loop. So I'll show that to everyone right now. So if I were to do docker inspect dash f And then if I were just to do dot network settings, oh, and put a web01, you can see there's a lot of information there. Now if we just do networks, we can see that it's actually a map. So underneath network settings, networks, this bridge thing here is a map. So what we need to do is we need to take this and we're going to do a loop to loop through the map. So we'll do that with the range command. And with any range or with any loop, we need to put an end. And then within the loop, we want to print out what we want. So you could we could print out everything. But let's just, we're only interested in the IP address. So we'll do IP address. We'll do enter, gives me the IP address. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. Um, we could add in more information here. Like we want the IP address. We also want, what else is in here? We can get the MAC address. And then we could format this a little bit. If we do Mac. And then IP address. There we go. 
So we'd MAC address, IP address, first entry. So if there was multiple entries, we could get all the MAC addresses and IP addresses. So any information you need on Docker is very easy to get with the Docker inspect command. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. In the next video, we are going to get into Docker networks, which is very important when working with containers because most containers will require a network associated with it. So please join me for that. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video.